Hello and namaste to everyone. Today we are going to discuss about the Linux architecture and file system. So this is very very important topic to learn Linux operating system because if you really want to understand a Linux operating system, so you should know your Linux file system architecture and how you can move around those Linux file system or you can say move around those Linux directories. So before going into this file system, let's get started with this Linux architecture guys. So here you can see the architecture of Linux operating system. So guys try to understand this architecture of Linux very carefully. Okay, because if you understand this architecture, then Linux become your friend. Okay, so in this architecture at the core you are see that there is something called hardware right and on top of this hardware there is something called your kernel right and on top of your kernel there is something called shell and on top of your shell there is something called your utilities right guys so the core part of this linux operating system is your hardware right so if you are executing any of this command whether it's a top command whether it's a ls command whether it's a sort command mkdir find command grep command ll command so if you are executing this command so how this command is communicating to this hardware right because if this hardware only understand binary language right guys so it understands zero and one only so how it's understand when this command cut is executed to your terminal on top of your shell right so ultimately you are able to see that this top command is interpreted by this shell right there is something in between that is your shell and once this shell is giving the input to your kernel this kernel is providing this input to your hardware and this is how it's all these different levels are communicating to each other so let let's understand each and every level one by one guys so in linux you no need to install any third party if you want to know the hardware information then what you will do you no need to go to the data center right or you need to check right uh, that how much is your ram how much is your disk or how much is your hardware is there right so do you think we required a additional third party software so if you if you really wants to understand the linux operating system so you should be able to do or you should be able to get those information from your terminal itself from the cli that is your command line interface guys so at the same time whatever the theory theory i am explaining over here okay i'll be showing you the lab work simultaneously it's not like that i am just showing you this architecture and i'll keep explaining this one no so once i'll explain this hardware at the same time i'll be explaining you the terminal part as well guys so try to understand this very carefully okay so i have already logged into the terminal correct so as i said if you want to know the hardware information correct of your linux operating system as you see it here very carefully okay you can see this diagram so in this diagram your hardware right so if somebody comes to you in your production environment or in your it organization and they want the information of this hardware then what you are going to do in that scenario right so in that scenario you are not going to raise a request or you are going to ask to your data center guys hey you go there and check that how much is the ram no it's not like that you should be able to do it from your linux operating system right so in linux operating system if you want to know the detailed information of your hardware so there is one command called dmid code command dmid dmid code command guys so if you execute this command it will give you a lot of information as you can see right so this is related to your system information this is related to your bios information this is related to your ram information this is related to your cpu information it is having huge information in it by using this dmid code command so guys remember this dmid code command 
again i'll be executing this command okay if you see if i'm executing this command now i'm using a pipe pipe is nothing but if you want to combine two commands at a time then you need to use a pipe and then you need to do a list so don't worry as of now whatever commands i'm executing apart from this dmid code command that is your less command again i'll be explaining this command in your basics okay in your basics command that is in in detail guys okay so if i do dmid code command pipe and i'm combining two commands by using this pipe command so now you are able to see the information page by page it's very clear right guys you can see it's very clear so here you are able to see the bios information of this particular hardware right so as of now the where we have hosted uh, hosted this linux operating system so we have hosted this linux operating system on top of your virtual machine so it's actually me giving the information of this virtual machine correct guys okay and if you want to see more information in the keyword you just need to do page down okay you just need to do page down who is the manufacturer okay from here you can identify see how and there is also one more thing in somebody is asking you whether it's a physical server or whether it's a virtual server so how you are going to identify that one so you are going to identify that one by using this dmid code command so if it's giving the information who is the manufacturer vmware so and what uh, product name will be there so it's a vmware virtual platform means it's a virtual server it's very clear that it's a virtual server this is not a physical server guys so like this again uh, if you do a page down here you will be able to see the other information that is your processor related information your cpu related information even you can see the ram so if it doesn't matter suppose there are some set of commands in linux operating system if you want to know for example i am showing you like cat slash proc slash uh, cpu cpu info so you can see it's giving you the cpu information but it doesn't matter right so uh, if you forgot this command so you can directly use this dmid code command so you will come to know all the information this is like all in one command in linux operating system and this command is going to execute in almost all the flavors of your linux operating system it's only not restricted to your red hat linux which i am executing now okay so whatever commands i am showing you here or this is not restricted to some specific distribution or flavor of linux operating system it is common across all your linux flavors okay this is a common practice so guys use this command frequently and if if you can see cat slash proc slash mem info right so if i do mem info also it it will give me the memory information there are multiple commands to get the information anyways this commands again i will be explaining in the upcoming session but as of now what you need to understand is this dmid code command so again i am coming back to the <coughs> point here so this if you want to know the hardware information then you can use dmid code command okay moving ahead with the next level that is your kernel kernel guys it's the most important part in your linux operating system so your kernel does so many tasks for your linux operating system it's not only converting or it's not only interpreting what what we are getting a input from your shell correct so there are uh, so your kernel is far more than that so you should understand your linux kernel first so what is your kernel so the kernel is the lowest level which schedules task and which manages resources and control the security so understand each and every word one by one what does it mean that it's manages resources manages resources means if you want to see suppose in a linux operating system if i execute a top command okay so you are able to see so many processes are running right so again i'll be explaining don't don't get confused that uh, i am executing top command as of now so top command will give you all the information related to your cpu your memory and your swap memory over here okay so you can see what all these processes obviously if you if your operating system is running okay so most of the so processes will be running background right so who is managing these processes if you if i'll quit from here okay 
or if any vlc media player is running on top of your linux operating system or any kind of application is running on top of your linux operating system so who is managing those resources so those things are absolutely managed by your kernel so this is why i am telling it manages resources guys try to understand like in windows if i go here if i open a task manager okay so in windows you can see right there are multiple processes are running correct you can see at pdf is running linux terminal is running this virtual machine is running okay uh, chrome is running your powerpoint is running so multiple processes are running right so same way in linux also these processes or these resources anything resources is managed by your kernel only now coming back to the next point which is also very much important try to understand this one the next point is what i said which scheduled task what does it mean scheduled task so scheduled task is nothing but in linux operating system there is something called cron tab guys okay cron tab hyphen l so as of now you can see there is no cron tab scheduled right means suppose there is one task right now it is 5 16 pm ist okay in india and if you want to execute some task in the morning okay 7 am okay if you want to execute any task or if you want to take the backup of a file for example if i do ls over here so you can see there is something called file 2 you want to take the backup of this file 2 okay every day at 7 am then how you are going to do that you need to schedule this task you need to schedule this task under cron tab so this is also managed by your kernel guys try to understand this very carefully okay so this is this is why i am telling uh, telling its schedule task now the uh, third point is your its control security what does it mean control security so your linux kernel is not only manages the resources not also it's manages the scheduled task but it's also control the security of this linux operating system how so you know there is something called uh, sc linux will be there in the upcoming session there is a separate topic for that one i'll be explaining you the sc linux sc linux is nothing but it's a security enhanced linux in a linux operating system so sc linux what it does is suppose in case if i am running df h okay so df hyphen h command is nothing but it will give you the detailed information of your file system means how much a uh, this disk is used okay and how much it is free okay like in windows you can see in c drive d drive and e drive is there so same way linux also there is something called sda sdb under that sub partitions will be there that will be coming under manage file system that is also i'll be explain later on but as of now just to understand this one so security by suppose this file system got corrupted okay then how you are going to take the backup of that one so that backup will be dump somewhere that is called your kdm okay and that will come under your security enhanced linux sc linux okay so if you know about the security security of your linux operating system so you will understand more and more about your linux okay so guys this is about your linux kernel now moving ahead for the next level that is your shell try to understand this shell what does it mean by shell okay so every linux uh, operating system comes with a default shell so if you do echo over here this is also command and if you do dollar over here and if you do capital shell so you will be able to see by default this linux operating system is having bash shell so there are multiple shells will be there like corn shell bash shell corn uh, ksh shell will be there so these shells are what you need to understand why why we need these shells right what is the point of having these shells so these shells on top of these shells only you are executing your commands where i am executing this command ls command whether it's a cd command whether it's a pwd command or any command i am executing on your shell only because shell is only doing the interpretation you can see whether top command cd command ls command means what these are some commands right and these commands are uh, interpreting by your shell and this shell is giving the input to whom 
to your kernel and furthermore this kernel is giving the input to your hardware in binary language right this is what a command from your utilities that is your user interface which we were doing now from your cli which we were this is your user interface right this is your command line interface correct cli from where we are executing now coming back to the point shell so shell main task is to interpret uh, or you can say it, it's act as a user interface and it's interpreting user commands and it's starting the application right so whatever commands you are executing it's giving you the output but let me tell you more than this let's go more deeper into this one guys so this do you think what is this top command what is this cron tap command or what is this ls command over here so this these are nothing but these are some kind of a scripts are running behind that one if i can show you here so you'll understand now how a user interface is interacting to your hardware okay and why we are not able to understand your hardware language so where if i go to cd bin directory will be there something called and if i do ls over here so these commands are already there you can see sleep is there you can see pwd is there right just now i am it is called present working directory so if i am executing this pwd means what there is one script already written okay and this is script is executing whenever you are executing from your user interface that is your pwd so it's giving you the output means where what is your present working directory means at the background process this script is running and this script is nothing but this is your shell this is your shell is interpreting and it's giving to your kernel and how if i go to inside to this pwd directory okay just get inside to this pwd there is no directory this is just a file so if you cat of this one so guys see are you able to understand this one no right because it's a binary executable format which is only understand by your linux or it's your uh, it's only understand by your hardware so this is why i am telling so your hardware understand only 0 and 1 so why we need all this level in between this is the reason we required all this level in between whether it's a cell whether it's a kernel and at the core your hardware will be there guys now it's clear for you are you able to understand my point so just now we have discussed about your shell your kernel and your hardware so let me show you more about your kernel okay if you want to know more detail of your linux kernel because this is also very much important whenever you are going to do a patching okay in your production environment or you are going to do your upgradation or updating your linux kernel then you should know all these things so there is something called u name command is there if you do hyphen r so you will be able to see your kernel version also over here okay so this is your kernel version okay so why we understand why we need to understand your linux architecture this is why i am telling you we should understand your linux architecture guys is this clear for you so guys this is how this each and every levels are communicating to each other so at the core your hardware will be there which only understand your 0 and 1 your binary language on top of that your kernel will be there which is uh, which is taking the input from your shell shell is nothing but this is your the, the main job of your shell is to interpret this commands right so it's it's taking uh, to uh, take the input from your user interface that is your utilities so these utilities are nothing but these are your some kind of application will be there or your commands will be there and these commands will be interpreted by your shell and it will be further given to your kernel and kernel will be providing this information to hardware in 0 and 1 right guys so guys if you have any doubt or any queries you can ask me i am available 24 into 7 thank you for watching this video